Ghost Hunters Season 1, Episode 7. Debunked. <laughs> <laughs> Debunk on this episode of Ghost Hunters. Do you still watch the show Ghost Hunters? I actually watched it last night. Do you really? Yeah, it was on because I saw Ghost Hunters Taps. You watch a lot of TV, you really do. Wow, well, I was I was falling asleep last night. All right, so Ghost Hunters yeah. season one, episode seven, two thousand four, two thousand four when it first came out. Was it really two thousand four? Yeah, it was two thousand four. Jason and Grant investigate a turn of the century armory. No, it wasn't. Yeah, that's what it says online. That's kind of funny that it's been on this long since 2004. Yeah, almost 20 years. And we're still kind of watching it. Because I watched a couple episodes ago, the third episode of the new season. I mean, if you think about it, like, we loved this show the first couple seasons. And we did meet them we did. right after season one. Or season, season two. two yeah. Season two just came out on DVD. Goddamn Lou Frigno wanted money for an autograph. That's another story for another day, Greg. Right, I'm just saying. But I remember buying season two DVD. And it was skipping. And it was skipping. Yeah. They did send me a new DVD set or a box set, whatever it was at the yeah. time. But yeah, they were really cool. But we're talking about a particular episode. The New Bedford Armory. The season one, episode seven. This is where it gets a little crazy. I'm getting a 3.0. Huh? Come on. Brian, Brian, cold spot. Cold spot. Right for you. Something threw him down, dude. Do you believe does. in the production value of these shows, or do you believe in the true investigations that these people say that they're doing? I mean, when they first started out in the first couple of seasons, I truly believed in them. Some of the episodes, they didn't find anything. Maybe like a voice or like a noise or anything like that. They would try to disprove it. I don't know. It's all production value to me. Well, now and, it is. And yeah, like, what, who is it? Steve. Jay, Jay, Steve, and Tango. Yep. And I don't know the girl's name because I don't really watch anymore. But particular episode, this one from the Armory, the sound guy. The sound guy. So basically, like to set this up, think of if you're wearing a backpack in front of you and holding like a, a boom, boom mic, mic, which looks like kind of like elongated hockey stick and the bag seemingly lifts up hits him in the face and he falls backwards on his back that's We're, essentially what happened essentially just just part of the story minor detail. there's more to the story there is but that's the gist of it so do you think looking at this and remembering the actual episode when you first watched it what was your impressions when you first watched it first impressions were like that's how would somebody lift that up and hit him in the face and that's a pretty expensive piece of equipment as well it did leave they did thermal imaging camera like his face and it was all red i do remember that yeah and it, and it remembered like looking at it now you know and you can analyze it a little bit more sure and looking at this video always gets me with these kinds Kind of shows they just miss they just missed it they just like yeah. it coming up or when they place the camera they just missed like the mist walking or like it's never a perfect angle which again if we're hunting ghosts you can never predict where they're gonna be sure. and if they're intelligent they should know where certain cameras or people are to avoid them so i'll give them credit for that yeah and then like the sound guy was a skeptic before this that's what he said he, yeah, that's what he says. And then also what he said, it felt like something ran through him. True. And he was like shaken up. Like you could clearly tell he was kind of in shock. Yeah. And I don't know if he was on future episodes of the show. I don't know. But looking at this film, I don't think I could really debunk it. Like if, if we're breaking this video down and you're looking at it right now and we're looking at it and you see the actual thing come up and mm -hmm. hit him in the face, you do get a, a good shot. Again, like we said, like sometimes they just miss it and they didn't get this full on shot of no. it. The one camera guy as he's turning does catch it and you see it come up. Unless this was some type of harness yeah. that's on this or it's him doing it himself, which it doesn't look like that. So no, I don't know like- It doesn't look like him doing it himself. The only way you would have that is like a harness attached to the ceiling. Somebody pull on it and it comes up and hits you in the face. Yeah. And that's where I'm, I'm always skeptical now watching this because when we first, like we said, when we first met them and we first started watching the show, I was hooked. Yeah. Every Wednesday night at eight o'clock, wherever I was on campus at school, I had to run back and watch this show. I remember like telling people like, shut up, shut up. Ghost Hunters is on. I yeah. got to watch it. I love this show. I don't know if I was hooked because of the, you know, the people that were on the show, or I was just hooked at the show of Paranormal itself. I think it was a little bit of both. Like, the guys were very relatable down to earth. Like, they told you what they wanted to accomplish out of this. They would go into it and try to debunk things. The Matt 20-something years ago would be a total believer. The Matt, fast forward, 
till today, I'm a little bit more skeptical and I analyze things a lot deeper than I used. To. Yeah. And looking at this video 20 years later, um, it's almost 20 years, right? Yeah. Almost 20 years. Almost 20 years. 18 years later. Fast forward. I still believe this. I don't know if I could really debunk this. Yeah, I don't think you could debunk this one. I just wish like all these, I wish we had the unedited version and film of like the span of like 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after. You know, you, you could see they cut like, it's TV know, production away. value. So that, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get videos and we're going to see videos throughout this whole series of debunked. Whoever's doing the editing, same thing. People could look at us and be like, oh shit, these guys are full of crap. They didn't catch a ghost. Sure. You know, like the one time we were in the cemetery and you heard something. I didn't see it. I didn't no. hear anything. They could say the same thing about you. They could be like, that's debunked. Sure. I mean, this, I this mean, kid's sure, making this could, up. You, sh you could. And that's your opinion. And you. Wow, you're telling them to f off. So the, the way, like, the only thing that really gets me from this, and which I, I don't think it's, it's fake. He's visibly shaken. He's almost crying, brought him to tears, and the sound equipment is very expensive. I don't think he wants to mess around with that. Yeah, but is it his sound equipment? I get it, but and then again, they're on TV. They are on TV. Is the production company coming to him saying in the beginning of the show, "You could do this. You could do this." We're going to give you an extra 10 grand yeah. to not say anything to the crew. We're going to fool you, them. But so, then you, so, they're, so essentially this one guy's in on the production company's idea to make this show a little bit more dramatic. Yeah, but then like if you, if you looked back at like the episode, right, they had the medic come in from the armory. Yeah, but his, he was already there. His pulse rate was like through the roof. He was cold, in shock, crying, everything like that. So I think this one's real. Yeah, I do too. Like after 18 years looking back on it, I would have to say it's real. And I don't know. Could it have been faked? Yes. Could anything be faked? Yep. Of course. But I give this one. It's not debunked. Or would it be debunked? Debunked? Not debunked? I think it's real. So. Something threw him down, dude. Let us know your thoughts if you still watch Ghost Hunters. And if you've seen this episode, episode seven. Episode seven. Season one. If you've seen it, what are your thoughts on the New Bedford Armory? Till next time. Stay spooky. Stay debunked. <laughs> Should we give people information? No. Just we're doing debunk. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no information. It's debunked. <laughs> That's all you need to know about this series. It's debunking the bunks. All right, let's go.